As the new Congress prepares to convene, repeal or defunding of the health care bill will or should be at the very top of the legislative agenda. Why is this bill such an atrocity? Let us count the ways. Start with how it was passed. Landmark legislation rammed through Congress despite the clearly expressed will of the American people. It was so unpopular that even though people have been extremely concerned about this issue for many years, every single poll of the American people showed clear majorities against it. Heck, the Senate seat held by no less than Ted Kennedy in the most liberal state in the nation was lost to the Democrats on that single issue. Next, the brazen lies that surrounded the selling of it. At the top of the list, the claim that it will actually reduce the deficit, won't add to our national debt. That claim is entirely dishonest because for starters, it's based on the government collecting taxes now without providing any benefits until 2014, after which the program, let's face it, is virtually certain to increase the deficit. How credible is the claim that it will not add to our national debt? We'll take a look at Social Security and Medicare, both of which threaten to be dwarfed by this health care bill, by the way. When passed decades ago, the government promised those two programs would be self-sustaining. The reality? These programs have unfunded liabilities going forward of $106 trillion. That's 106 followed by 12 zeros. That's seven times the size of the U.S. economy. So let me ask you, in light of all this, do any of you believe the government's claim that the health care bill will not add significantly to our national debt? Do any of you believe we can possibly afford this bill? According to the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, if Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid continue growing at their current rates by 2050, those programs alone will consume nearly the entire federal budget. Add health care to the mix and Without major structural reforms, we're looking at an economic disaster that could actually turn the U.S. into the next Greece or Ireland. Finally, think about how much you hate dealing with your insurance company. And try to picture what it'll be like to add a whole layer of government bureaucracy on top of that. This bill creates dozens of new government authorities and commissions. This, my friend, is the poster child for the progressive agenda and it's nothing less than a nightmare. Now, none of this is to say that we don't need health care reform. We absolutely do, but this health care bill throws gasoline on a raging fire. Next time, we'll talk about even more objectionable elements of this health care bill. But first, contact your members of Congress. You can do it from right here on our homepage and demand repeal of this health care bill.